Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I know which one we're doing now. Guys, we're doing tri-tip tacos with cilantro lime dressing, okay? We're gonna do a cup. we'll do like, maybe we'll do two or maybe even three Jack's cooking videos. But uh, uh, let me just tell you, this is not, I can already tell from the preview, this is gonna be a disaster, okay? So quick update for those who are new to this, um, to this channel, okay? Uh, Jack's cooking show is an infamously bad cook, but he's not just an infamously bad cook. He's also a terrible person. Uh, uh, just trust me, um, when you're laughing at Jack, you do not need to feel bad at all, no matter how mean we get, because Jack is the biggest piece of shit that you've ever seen in your entire goddamn life. He's an absolute asshole. He's horrible to other people on YouTube. He's horrible to his family. He's often horrible to his family on video, and he's also a abysmal cook. Uh, this man has, has almost certainly poisoned multiple members of his family with various foodborne illnesses. Uh, he is, uh, he rose to viral fame, um, because he made a bunch of videos where he cooked turkey or he cooked chicken and he would describe it as juicy. And when he would cut it open, it would be raw on the inside. And he would be like, it's perfect. This is cooked perfectly. And he would be telling you to the camera that it's cooked perfectly. And then he would eat it. And a lot of people at first thought that he was a troll, but they quickly realized he is not a troll. He is actually just very, very stupid and also incredibly arrogant. So without any further ado, now that you've been introduced to, um, uh, 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 now that you've been introduced to Jack, let's see him try to do tri-tip tri tacos with cilantro lime dressing. Let's fucking see. All right, guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, Cooking with Jack Show. If you've never watched, do me a favor, subscribe, because we have a lot of fun on this show. We do a bunch of different crazy recipes, a lot of easy recipes, a lot of lazy man recipes, a lot of products. In the last time, the last Cooking Mama episode that I did, he cooked Korean sloppy joes that did not have a single Korean ingredient in it. He did Korean sloppy joes that had Chinese sauce, Japanese sauce, uh, uh, and, and American seasonings. No Korean ingredients, but for some reason he called them Korean Sloppy Joes, and they were so bad his wife wouldn't even eat them. Just so you know. Reviews, a lot going on. We got new merchandise, uh, everything's just going awesome. Um, all through the month of June, we've been doing, um, on Tuesdays and Fridays, we've been doing uh, Julia Child recipes to celebrate her and the show that they have on HBO Max, they've been reviewing her life. Uh, I grew up with Julia Child. So to me, I watched her with my mom as a child. Uh, so she kind of has a little spot in my heart. She- Keita B. Fox says, is this the party cheese salad guy? This is indeed the infamous party cheese salad guy. Um, I should be, I should be fair to the newcomers. Uh, one of Jack's most infamous recipes is a, is a recipe called, uh, Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. And, um, it's an atrocity. It is a war crime. Uh, it's horrible. It is a, a, the ingredients are celery, green peppers, lime jello, whipped cream, uh, pineapple, shredded pineapple, uh, and what else? What am I forgetting? There's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, and cheese, and the cheese, uh, shredded cheddar cheese. Um, it is neither a salad, nor is it a party. Uh, it is a disaster. It looks disgusting. And every person that we've seen uh, who has made it has basically said that it sucks. So there you go. Uh, let's continue is one of the oh yeah he also calls cool whip the real whipped cream even though cool whip is definitively not whipped cream in fact it even says on the box that it's a whipped vegetable oil uh uh, uh treat oh and the pimentos i forgot the pimentos he puts pimentos in there the founders of kind of like video cooking 
she was one of the first to be on TV. So anyway, enough about that. Let's get started on this. We're doing tri-tip tacos, okay? We're gonna get the meat ready first. I got a, I got a meat, a beef tri-tip that was already seasoned with rosemary and peppercorn. So I'm gonna add a few things to it. So it's been marinated already, but we're gonna add more to it before we put it on the cooker. We're also gonna set up our barbecue outside Nickel Fist with the tier three sub. Thank you very, very much for the support. Thank you so very much. That is incredibly generous. Thank you a ton. Like we're gonna smoke, but we're basically just cooking indirect heat. Very similar. They're almost the same setup, all right? So let me get this season, then we'll go outside and set up that, and we will show you what's going on and have fun cooking this all day. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of eyeballing this. Mm. This is the meat right here. All right, so we're going to just eyeball this. I want to, I'm going with uh, Cosmo Q's. Uh, it's the prime steak. Remember, it looked like the ashes. So we're going to just start pouring it into a bowl. So this is kind of how I work normally anyway. BZ with the tier one sub. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so very much. It looks like ash from a fire. Newly it does. There we go. Yep, it definitely does look like ash. Well, I gotta do both sides, so I better put a little more. There we go. All right. And then we're gonna do some uh, cayenne pepper. Exciting. Just to give it a little bit of kick, not too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now remember, we're doing all the meat with this, so wanna make sure you have enough to take effect, but not too much to burn your guest's mouth. Okay, and then yeah, guys, you wouldn't want to be too interesting. spicy. I've never put monk fruit Daring, on my meat, are we? but we're gonna put powdered monk fruit. Splenda makes monk fruit now, so we're using the Splenda brand monk fruit, monk fruit in this bottle here. We're just gonna pour a little bit in there. Give it. You gotta realize monk fruit's about a hundred times sweeter than sugar, so we're gonna swirl that around. Oh, it's a sugar Kinda alternative. All mixed up. So we rubbed in all the uh, seasoning on both sides. We added a little bit more dusting and a little bit more cayenne dust to it. Okay. It looks beautiful. It's not cooked yet. We're going to go get our thermometer. Oh, stick God. It in. It's, it looks like he buried it in a cat box. I looked away to see what the hell monk fruit sweetener was, and I looked back at this, and it looks like he fucking buried it in a cat box. Mr. Anderson, welcome! Oh my god, welcome as a new chunky imp! Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Happy to have you as a chunky imp. Thank you so much. That makes me feel better after realizing that this steak has now been buried in a fucking, uh, uh, Kids sandbox. Yeah, yeah, it got seasoned with grandma's ashes, exactly. In and watch it and cook it just like when Austin Travis says this can't possibly be real. It's going to get worse. Let me tell you, it is assuredly going to get worse. Jack Jack is a notoriously arrogant and bad cook. Everything that he does always gets worse. He also will lie directly to the camera. If he burns something, he will just look directly in the camera and tell you that it is not burnt. The dude is incapable of admitting that he's wrong. It's insane. Normally do. We're gonna cook to 165, then we're gonna take it off this, we're gonna wrap it, then we're gonna cook to 2, 205, somewhere in that range, okay? So, Also, anyway, yeah, that's... wait a minute. I wonder how, I wonder if using a artificial monk fruit based seasoner that isn't sugar is how is that going to interact won't that burn like you can't just um like if you try to caramelize an artificial sweetener that doesn't melt or caramelize the same way sugar does it'll burn very quickly oh uh oh the scoop let's take this out to the grill and get it on there Okay, good morning, everybody. I just want to be really clear about what I'm doing here. I'm not smoking the meat. I'm going to set it on a on a mat on this stone. And if you want one of these stones, I know barbecue 
dragon also has one of these stones. This is for like n not direct heat. So the heat's gonna come from here. Danny, who is our resident uh, uh, super chef, Danny says, I use it to make crusts on things that are already cooked because it burns very quickly. Ah. And then it's gonna cook the meat. I wanna slow cook the meat. So I'm doing indirect heat. That makes sense. But we're not smoking, but you can use this for smoking also. Okay, we got everything down there. The towel drenched in oil, the master build lump charcoal that I purchased. That was on sale for like nine and change, a whole bag of it. That was cool. And let me go get So this man is how to basic, but for real? Unfortunately, I think he might actually be more gross than how to basic because he actually makes people sick. Um, there's an episode where he goes to a church cookout. Uh, he goes to a church cookout chili contest and he submits a chili to the church chili contest where lots of people are going to be eating his chili and we watch him undercook the pork, like severely undercook the pork and he feeds it to lots of other people. Like, Jack is a total piece of shit when it comes to food. He's very unsafe, and he also just insists that he's a good cook. Oh, God, it's so bad. Ready, and we'll bring it on out. Okay, guys, let's show you everything. I got my thermometer right here. It's showing the meats at, like, 44 right now. Got the thermometer and the meat. There's the meat. There's the dog hoping something will fall on the ground. And there's the towel with the oil. We're going to light that now and just kind of see how it does. All right, guys, as you can see, I just lift the corner of that towel. So we're going to see if it catches fire or starts to burn. Oh, well, we're going to find out, I guess. Burn. And for all I know, this will, uh, this should work. If this doesn't work, I'll put some, some starters, some fire starters underneath. All right, so I lit a few places on the towel. It's looking a lot better. It's smelling good. Hopefully it'll start catching that wood on fire. We'll see what happens. But for right now, uh, it's just burning the towel. Well, it is working. Interesting. Now let's see if this catches. I mean, that that one's obviously caught on fire, but uh, I gotta get all the rest going. Let's see Exciting. What Thrilling you footage see here. It's smoking pretty good. I'm gonna let it keep it contained. I don't want the wind blowing out my fire or if rain starts coming down because it's looking pretty dismal right now. But anyway, everything's going good. It's still burning. Let's just let it keep going. <laughs> and <laughs> we'll keep an on it. Our meat is at 46. Oh my God. Looking it, it, whenever he fucks things right, up guys, so often so because he just does things by the seat of his pants. bag of master build, um, the uh, lump charcoal. That's some serious stuff. It's putting out a lot of heat. It's been burning hot the whole cook. The one batch I put in there. I haven't had to add to it. I haven't had to move it around. I haven't. It's raging. So the, that lump charcoal is just raging. I, I should think about getting a smoker with the offset. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to just do lump charcoal. Yeah, that might be the way to go. And I, I mean, I love my pellet smokers. Don't get me wrong. See you in the morning. But this lump charcoal, man, by Master... Is it Master Build or Master Built? I think it's Master Build. Anyway, um... It's the real deal, guys. I just want you to know, it's it's doing the whole cook. I haven't had to do anything to it. I'm gonna crisp up some bacon bits. I'm gonna crisp them up in a frying pan and use them in our dressing. Right now, it's time for the cilantro lime dressing. Are you guys ready? So we've got garlic, jalapenos, lime, sour cream, cilantro, and green onions. And we're crisping up some bacon because I want it. I'm just, I'm all, the only thing the recipe just didn't ask wait. for was the jalapenos and the bacon, but I'm throwing those in anyway. So we got pickled jalapenos. We have, uh, you can tell by the coloration on these that these are those pre-done uh, uh, um, garlics, like the ones where the, the full clove is stored in like oil or whatever. You can tell by the, by how, by the coloration on them because if if they're the pre the like pre-shaved ones that are in the jar they will discolor slightly so you know pickled jalapenos no fresh jalapenos no fresh garlic thank god he has fresh cilantro and thank god he has fresh limes so i'm crisping up the bacon so let's get everything ready to blend 
Oh yeah, that looks fucking amazing, dude. That looks fucking- that doesn't look putrid. What is this supposed to be again? You guys ready to take a peek at this meat? Oh, here we go. Let's take a oh, peek. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's check it out. Let's fucking check out the meat, everybody. And look, after we wrapped it, I just wrapped it and threw it back on. Let's take a look here. 20 bucks says it's a fucking lump of coal. Just came off. Okay, guys, the meat came out phenomenal. The seasoning, the sweet. It's so fucking dry. Look at this meat. This is a tri-tip steak. Look at how dry it is. Unironically, you can see how dry it is. It's fucking flaking apart. Yes, the heat, the saltiness, it's all good with that prime steak seasoning from Cosmo Q. Way to go. So I'm just going to throw a few pieces of beef in it here. It looks horrible. Cut this up. Thank you, sweetheart. Throw some meat in there, there we go. Take a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of onions, a little bit of cheese. And if this is good, I'm making her one too. She's gonna love this. I hope this, this dressing, cilantro lime dressing, put that right on top, a little bit more. This is supposed to be a taco, and by we're the way. Give this a try. This is well worth it. We've been filming all day. Out on the grill, I got dirt all over me from the puppy. I got sauce all over me. I, what a mess. Good thing I didn't wear one of my show shirts. Um, okay, so we got this to try, so let's give this a try right now. Dirt, you have dirt all over you from the puppy and you're preparing food? You literally just wiped your hand through the dirt from the puppy and now you're gonna roll a taco for somebody? And see how it is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah. Mmm. Um, cilantro lime sauce. Why did he cut away? Did he spit out his food? Did he fucking spit it out and that's why he cut away? Why was there a cut there? This is a home run. That came out really good. The meat came out good. Everything's delicious. Dude, that wow. meat did not co come out good. You can literally see how dry it is. It's so fucking dry. It's so fucking dry. All right, guys. It's dinner time. I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, recipe will be down below. He didn't show himself swallowing. He spit. He spit. Jack spit.